Greetings friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Alicia, very glad to have you here. And in today's video, I'm taking you through my April Winco haul. It's been a long time actually since I've been to Winco, so I wanted to show you everything that I picked up. And I also wanted to show you a few of the meals that I'm making for my family this week. So let's get right into it. This is the cookbook that I purchased several weeks ago. I talk about Half Baked Harvest all the time on my channel. I make all of her recipes. So when she came out with this, I knew I had to get it. And that's where most of my meals are coming from this week. So I will be linking this in case you are interested, but she has some amazing recipes. All right, starting off over here. This, well, I, I picked this up when I was at Winco. This is a three pack foil pan. I needed to get something to transfer some brownies to my father-in-law. Today was his birthday. So I made him some brownies this morning and took them over. Okay, so the very first protein we were talking about is some ground chicken. I have a pound of it. This is for a Coca Vin Blanc meatball recipe. I'm gonna pair it with some mashed potatoes. Looks absolutely fantastic and it looks pretty easy too. And I have a bunch of mushrooms in my fridge that I need to use up. I have this Italian sausage. I just got the mild one. I didn't want to get like spicy, but this is going to go into a roasted red bell pepper bolognese. I have some eggs. Usually I get a whole bunch of eggs, but I have a neighbor whose family sells brown eggs. So I've been ordering from her lately. So I just picked these up just to have on hand because I'm running low on brown eggs. And I got some storage and freezer bags. Um, recently I made some breakfast sandwiches to stick in the freezer and it depleted my freezer baggie. So I needed to pick up some more and then just some storage ones. I have three little cans here of tomato paste. Quite a bit of the recipes that I'm making this week called for that. Now this is for no recipe in particular. Actually it is. It's for a cheesy skillet enchilada dish that I've made several times before. It is so yummy and it's so easy. And so I wanted just to have this on hand for one of those days where it's like, I don't really want to follow my meal plan. I kind of want to go away from that. Like, so if this sounded good to, to eat that week, then I will just make it. I have a can of black beans and this is actually going into a cheesy beef and bean skillet dish. It's a one skillet dinner which are my favorite ones to make so that's going to be very easy especially on like there's a night when there's like baseball or something so if you are new to my channel i rave about the coconut milk from target i think their good and gather brand is so delicious but this is probably my next favorite i just got some coconut milk and this is gonna be going into a spicy chicken madras dish. It kind of reminds me of like a butter chicken. So I'm interested to see the taste difference. I also had to pick up some tomato sauces that are going into quite a few of the dishes with the tomato paste. I have some cereals back here. I have some frosted mini wheats and some kicks. I like to give my daughter like just a handful of these in the mornings while I'm preparing her breakfast. And I love keeping frozen vegetables on hand because sometimes, you know, you make a meal and then you're like so exhausted from the entree. You're like, oh my gosh, now I have to prepare the vegetables. Sometimes I get like that and I love to have frozen veggies on hand just to throw them really fast into the microwave. I have some white rice for several of the dinners this week. I did pick up some deli ham. This is the Hawaiian ham. I love Winco's Deli. They have such an amazing deli section. I'm always so happy that they offer so many different meats and bacon. I love their bacon, by the way. Okay, so one of the meals I'm making calls for burrata. Burrata is so hard to find in my area, but I did find some though at Target, but I was trying to keep this to only Winco. So in, so burrata is kind of similar to a mozzarella. So I just got these little mozzarella pearls that I will be using on top instead of the burrata. And I got a block of a mozzarella cheese to shred. I believe this is going on top of that beef and bean skillet. Some tomatoes, I love having tomatoes. I am trying to grow my own tomatoes in the backyard. I, I'm really hoping they come through for me this year. I don't have the best of luck. We made our own raised garden bed, so hopefully with that new soil and dirt that we put in, it'll help maybe grow my tomatoes. I really hope so, because homegrown tomatoes are the best. I also picked up some Honeycrisp apples while I was there. I love to have apples with like peanut butter and some cinnamon on top. Great little snack. I also got my husband some Triscuit crackers, because he loves to just munch on something whenever he gets home from work. Usually it's chips, so crackers are usually the better bet. Some rigatoni, this is going into that bolognese. I love rigatoni, I like the little ridges. Okay, I saw this, I don't think I've ever seen this at Winco before. They are maple cream cookies, let me pick this up. 
and I thought my kids might like this for lunch maybe so I'm gonna give this a try see what they think about them I'm pretty sure they're gonna love these they love anything I put in their lunch I have a couple of yellow onions back here for some of my dishes several heads of do you call these heads I think you call them heads of shallots. I think I have six right here. I recently made a shallot pizza where like shallot and mushrooms were like the main part of the pizza and it was absolutely phenomenal. So, so delicious. So I needed to get some shallots for the, some of the recipes. Several limes. I love having limes on hand just in general. I would love to have a lime tree maybe one day. I have some potatoes because I'm going to make some mashed potatoes for the cocoa vin meatballs. I have two red bell peppers. These are going into that bolognese. And then I have a yellow bell pepper back here. This is going into that cheesy bean and beef skillet dish. I picked up some strawberries. I don't have the, I have some in my fridge. So this is just to replenish the amount that I have. And I picked up some red grapes for my boys for lunches this week my husband already got into this he's i told you guys he loves chips he already got into it it's the crinkle cut truffle and sea salt i had one little bite of it and it is so yummy they're very pungent though very pungent but so good and then i just picked up some chips because i'm going to pair that with some salsa that i got down over here i'll show you that in a second i did pick up a bottle of sauvignon blanc just like the cheapest one that i could find um, and this is actually going into a Brussels sprout and cauliflower gnocchi dish. I picked up some cauliflower gnocchi in my Trader Joe's haul. And I'm going to do that in the air fryer. So I'm going to kind of mess around with what her recipe calls for and see how I can incorporate an air fryer cauliflower gnocchi dish with her recipe. So hopefully that'll turn out good, but this is going into that sauce. And I picked up some chicken because we are pretty much all out of chicken. I'm gonna be meal prepping our lunches this week, making some grilled chicken breast. And then of course I have chicken in the chicken madras dish, so needed to get that. I have a bunch of celery. I actually already have some in the fridge already, but I did decide to pick up three more packages of them. I've been making celery juice for me and my husband for the past I believe three weeks or so maybe longer and my husband he has noticed a tremendous difference when he goes to the bathroom TMI I know this is a grocery haul we should not be talking about that but he has ulcerative colitis and so he has some stomach issues that he's been dealing with for several years now and he noticed he was telling his nurse the other day whenever he was getting his injections that this celery juice has really helped him. So I'm gonna keep this up for as long as possible, as long as we're able to do it. It is a lot of work to juice, but the benefits I think are really gonna pay off. And I did get two gallons of whole milk back here. I have several little yogurts here. These are for my kids actually. I have two Greek yogurts, just strawberry Greek yogurts, and then two regular yogurts for snacks when they get home from school. Some sour cream because my son is turning six this Six this week and I'm gonna be making him a cake for his birthday so I needed to pick up that that goes into the batter and the very last thing I love this salsa so much my husband can't have too much of it but it is the Bobby Salazar's salsa verde in hot it is so so good so I had to get that all right you guys that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and this gave you a little bit of meal inspiration for your week if you did give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel on your way out I would really appreciate the support and we will see you in the next video bye guys